One of the most notable athletes of the 1930s was Babe Diedrichson Zaharias. Who was Babe? What sports did she become famous for? Babe Diedrichson's real name was Mildred, but almost everyone remembers her as Babe, a lifelong nickname. Her parents were Norwegian immigrants, and she had six brothers and sisters. When she was four years old, her family moved to Beaumont, Texas, where she would grow up. She wasn't a great student, and even dropped out for a brief period before finishing high school. Fortunately for Babe, she was an extremely talented athlete. When she was 21, she gained worldwide attention at the Amateur Athletic Union Championships in July of 1932. In less than three hours, she competed in eight different events, winning five and tying for first in a sixth. She set three world records that day, including the javelin, 80 meter hurdles, the baseball throw, which she threw 272 feet, and the high jump. Later that month, she competed in the 1932 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles. She won two gold medals, the hurdles and the javelin throw, and a silver for the high jump. After the Olympics, she began a career in golf. Throughout the late 1930s and 1940s, Babe Diedrichson was the dominant name in women's golf. She was unquestionably America's first female golf superstar. She accomplished many feats throughout her career, including being the first American to win the British Ladies Amateur. At one point, she won as many as 13 tournaments in a row. In 1938, she married a professional wrestler named George Zaharias, becoming Babe Diedrichson Zaharias. The two met while at a charity golf event and wed less than a year later. The couple remained married for the rest of Babe's life. Aside from being a gifted track athlete and golfer, Babe Zaharias experienced success in other sports as well. She played baseball and softball, was a skilled diver, a talented basketball player, and could bowl, box, play ice hockey, and even roller skate. She also found time to be an excellent seamstress, sewing all of her own golf outfits. She could even play the harmonica and sing. She even recorded songs for Mercury Records. In 1953, Babe was diagnosed with colon cancer. She battled the illness for two years before finally losing the struggle in 1955. She died at the age of 45, but managed to continue playing golf right up to the end of her life. At the time of her death, she was still the number one ranked female golfer in the world. In her lifetime, she won the Associated Press Female Athlete of the Year six times. In 1999, the Associated Press named her the greatest female athlete of the 20th century. However, her impact goes far beyond her exploits in sports. She was one of many females throughout the 1930s and 1940s that changed the public's expectation of women. In a society where many believed that women should be, in the words of one sports writer of the day, getting themselves prettied up and waiting for the phone to ring, Babe Diedrichson Zaharias was proving that women not only had a place in society, but a place in sports as well.